How secure is your data really in the age of AI? A lot of new opportunities is coming with AI, especially in uh, cybersecurity, but this is maybe a double-edged sword. At the same time, uh, the white, uh, white hat ha hackers are developing new tools and techniques for protecting systems. Also, there are opportunities for the so-called uh, black hat hackers or the unethical hackers, the uh, the bad people generally, to to also develop malicious uh, attacks and um, and systems for actually getting into uh, systems without permission. So it may be uh, uh, maybe some challenges involved in actually getting uh, in how uh, how cyber security will be strengthened overall with artificial intelligence. Hey guys, I'm Stefan. I'm the founder of the Data Management Bureau Raffles Ambassadors. As mentioned, we will go through here a little bit of an introduction to uh, AI and cybersecurity. I won't go too into depth, uh, uh, depth in this video. I want to provide kind of an introduction uh, for, uh, for you guys to uh, for what uh, AI can really mean in cybersecurity. Some, um, some of the factors to consider and how it may develop, uh, it may affect cybersecurity in the future, how both the ethical and unethical users may use this and how that may affect the kind of uh, safety of the system, safety of the data in the future, and uh, some best practices maybe for how this will evolve uh, in uh, the future. So. Uh, first of all, what is the role of AI in uh, data security? How can this be used in practice by the ethical users, by the actual, uh, by those who actually are doing the penetration testing, uh, testing the system actively for vul vulnerabilities, making sure that it's safe to use? Uh, how can this be used in uh, in this way in practice? There are several several ways this can be used. It's, for instance, uh, threat detection and prevention. Here, for instance, we uh, use uh, it's possible to use AI and machine learning for uh, threat detection. These uh, new systems are and tools are coming out all the time here for uh, detecting kind of anomalies in uh, network traffic and uh, uh, and detecting when there are attacks uh, like this. Uh, we also have automated incident uh, response, so it can reduce uh, reduce response time, generate uh, accurate summaries of uh, for high priority alerts, and generally making it easier to get an overview of what is actually happening when uh, there may be uh, drills or actual uh, actual legitimate attacks uh, that are happening to the business based uh, from uh, in their cybersecurity. We also have another factor to uh, to consider here. We have uh, enhancing data protection and privacy in general, which of course is really important, uh, not only for uh, compliance, but also for making sure that data isn't getting leaked in general. This is considering uh, data uh, data monitoring, uh, governance in general, uh, safeguarding, uh, safeguarding sensitive data. It's gonna identify shadow data and monitoring for unusual access patterns, for instance. Uh, and uh, another thing is identity and access management uh, with new kind of uh, authentic uh, authentication processes then AI models can kind of analyze behavioral data and assess uh, login attempt risks and reduce the fraud costs overall. But there are some challenges and ethical concerns here. One particularly notable um, statistic here is that 80% of data experts agree that AI adds to the challenges uh, involved in the complexity of data security. And this may be particularly because of what I mentioned in uh, the beginning of the video, where it kind of becomes this kind of uh, race between the unethical and the, and the ethical hackers for who can uh, find how to uh, how to exploit and how to use use the technicalities in these computer systems in the best possible ways, uh, and. Uh, some other ethical considerations and, uh, on AI misused is uh, this, as mentioned, it's uh, the risk of AI being used for malicious pur purposes by cyber, security, uh, by cyber criminals. And uh, even though uh, the more 
uh, official large language models or have some kind of safety me mechanisms to uh, to kind of hinder or mitigate this Th those aren't completely uh, foolproof in a sense it's possible to get around it and it's also there are also other alternatives available uh, online that these uh, these people can actually use to uh, to help themselves uh, to actually get into systems uh, like this or or to uh, more easily uh, find these technical vulnerabilities and exploit them by using AI machine learning and so on. So that is something to keep in mind when uh, when considering here what is the uh, how does AI really affect cybersecurity in in general? So where do we uh, end off with best practices? Uh, first of all, it's uh, implementation and oversight. It's important to uh, integrate uh, AI-powered threat detection system, for instance, enhance data governance, ensure continual model updates, and uh, and so on. Generally, making sure that, uh, especially if you are a bigger organization, that you are aware of what kind of data uh, may be vulnerable in case of attacks like this, the kind of data and information you don't want to leak out, and may uh, maybe even have a, sp a person um, uh, in, the, in the organization that are uh, specifically responsible uh, for working on this with cybersecurity and making sure that everything is in, a, in order, they have the right systems in place, and making sure that they have the right uh, right tools and uh, safety measures to prevent against attacks like this. So, yeah, that, that's basically it for for this video uh, for the kind of dual role that AI places in uh, enhancing and also complicating data security. So, uh, yeah, how can we actually ensure that data remains secure without uh, compromising innovation? It's, uh, I, I'll leave that as an open question to you. If you have an experience uh, with this or any more thoughts on the topic, be sure to leave them in the comments below to continue the discussion forward. Uh, if you like uh, like the video, make, uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, if you want, uh, if you want to know more about us, the possibility of working with us for uh, help with implementation of anything concerning AI, automation, data management, and so on, you will also find the link to uh, the uh, link to our Calendly to book a meeting uh, in the description below. Other than that, I wish you all an amazing day forward, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.